Today we present you with another Tweaktown video review of the Patriot Exporter Magnum 128GB pendrive. Now, first of all, we get a look at the uh, packaging that Patriot has used with the Exporter Magnum 128GB pendrive. And we have to say, we don't like it. It's the type of plastic that cannot be opened unless you use scissors, which, which is a pain in the ass. And we don't think any company should use this type of packaging. The only way to get into um, packaging like this is to, is to cut it, like so. And once that comes off, you know, what do you do? You, you, have, to, you have to rip it apart like this, and it's not easy. Right? Like this. But once we're into it, we get a look at this beautiful looking pen drive. You know, black finish, metallic, um, really, really nice looking. Patriot know how to make a good looking product. Also inside the package we have a USB extension cable and uh, a lanyard so you can um, hook it up and uh, hook it onto the pen drive rather and wear it around your neck if that's the if that's the type of thing you want to do. And besides that, that's uh, that's about all we have. And we're just going to get rid of this uh, useless um, packaging. We hate it, and companies shouldn't use it. If you're watching, stop using this type of packaging. It's no good. What we're looking at here, from the bottom to the top, is the new 128 gig uh, pen drive from Patriot. This is actually the 64 gig version, and here we have a standard uh, Sony 2 gig pen drive. We've just put it here, um, basically as a size comparison. You can see them all together here. This would, this is what we would consider the Sony. We would consider a standard size pen drive. Then you see the Magnum here alongside the um, the 64 gig version, and they're basically the same size. Um, although, of course, you get double the amount of memory in here, an insane amount, 128 gigabytes. Here we see the Patriot uh, pen drive installed inside the system. And now uh, let's put it through the paces and see exactly how it performs. Alright, we've uh, plugged the Patriot pen drive into the system and uh, as you can see it's showing a free space capacity of 121 gigabytes. And uh, when we check out the Ready Boost section we can see here that uh, the Patriot drive does indeed support it and uh, Vista has recommended a, a um, size of uh, 4090 megabytes for optimal performance. So no problems there. Okay, here we're running a benchmark using Crystal Disk Mark 2.1. It will show us the read and write performance of the Patriot uh, 128 gig pen drive. We'll just wait a little bit here and then we'll have the result. You can see it all happening in real time. So as you can see, the performance is uh, rather good and pretty standard for a uh, USB pen drive. Um, you know, we're doing 32 to 33 megabytes per second on the read, and the best write speed is almost 17 megabytes per second, um, which is quite good for USB 2.0. You're not going to get all that much quicker. Um, what, what would be nice for Patriot to do is offer a model that has an eSATA connector on there to really, to really tap the potential of the pen drive. Okay, so we've finished the testing of the pen drive. It proved to be uh, quite good. Patriot has told us that the, the recommended retail price of this drive will be 460 US dollars. It is 128 gig. It is very expensive though for one pen drive. Um, it's unclear, you know, how many people will actually 
you know, buy this and spend that amount of money in these economic times on a product like this. But, you know, if you've got cash to spend, if you need this amount of storage in your pocket, 128 gig, which is an extreme amount, you know, it's a very good product, it performs well, it looks good, it's very solid, you know, um, you can drop it, it's uh, material's rather good. Summarizing it up, it's a good product, performs well, looks good, it's solid, but you have to pay for it. This has been Cameron for another Tweaktown video review.